Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, move your music from your iPod back to your computer. Apple originally designed the iPod to work as a one-way sync device, where music can go into it, but not back off of it. Now, they didn't do a very good job, because you can easily show the folders on your iPod when you connect it to your computer. Now my iPod is dead right now and I really don't feel like charging it and I can show you exactly the same way without it. First plug, plug in your iPod, wait till it's recognized by your computer, open it, double click on it, whatever you like to call it. Um, and then once you're in once you're in your iPod device root folder, go to tools, drop down to folder options, open that, change to the view tab, and scroll until you find something that says hidden files and folders. Now you'll see that there's uh, two bubbles, and the default is do, do not show hidden files and folders, but if you change it to show hidden files and folders, click apply, hit OK. And there is all the music that would be on your iPod. Now these aren't arranged in any specific manner that it would make sense to you or your computer but it does make sense to your iPod and it arranges it in some way I do not know how it's arranged but if you open it up you can find the files see Weird Al Pretty Fly for a Jedi even though that's not the title of the file it's pretty interesting but that's what happens if you, you know, do a system restore and you forgot to back it up and you're that stupid. Or you just, I don't know, somehow lost all of your files. You can get it back onto your computer. Then you get to have fun rearranging it back to how it should be. And that is my video tutorial.